you guys, how's it going? We are going to head over to that place where I plow the school buses. It's, what is it, it's three in the afternoon. Um, I gotta take a skid steer over there so we can see if we can actually scrape up a little bit of the ruts where they park the buses in between them because they never move them and I get over maybe twice a month to, to plow um, where they park. So you, you gotta end up getting a lot of packed snow there. Now, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to scrape off of it, to tell you the truth. Um, we've had a lot of freeze thaw, freeze thaw cycles this year, and I think there's a really good layer of ice in those ruts. But we will see what we can do about it. And the reason why I'm taking this kid's steer is, well, I'm just too lazy to take the goddamn plow off the loader. And I'm not going far from here, so yeah. She's warming up. Got her brushed off, warming up, we're ready to roll. So we're gonna take that little beast. Uh, probably be a five minute drive down the road there to that property. I do a lot of properties near here, so. We will see if we can get that sucker scraped up. I hope we can do a little bit of something for him. Anyways, whatever. Gonna be what's gonna be. Catch you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we're in the skid steer. Most important thing, we got our tea. Can't do anything without tea, I tell you that much. I think I may have to uh, go get some more sand. I'm running a little bit low, but I don't know. I was going to order a half a triaxle, but I'm thinking I may take my single axle out but to, to go get a load. But I'm going to have to unbury it. Yay. There's got to be... Uh, <laughs> A foot and a half to two feet of snow on that and then probably the same thing in the box which is gonna be fun I did mean to clean that out a while back but I've been too busy with other things year-end paperwork etc yeah just owning a business it's it's never-ending never ever ending work I'll tell you that much anyways I'm gonna get you guys mounted up somewhere nice and we will get to it all right
this place doing this. This is all recycled asphalt.
just scrape the weeds off and then build it up six inches higher than the original grade. Well now a five ton can't back up to it. It's like, well probably eight inches because the uh, uh, five ton is now eight inches higher than the floor. Which is not a big deal, but now you gotta go buy a new, uh, a new ramp to be able to safely, you know, pull a forklift in and out of those trucks. I would be pretty annoyed. I, I wasn't impressed with the job they did here. It was actually, it was the contractor who used to plow this place. Well, he's no longer plowing it. I've been doing it. And I would have been doing it for years, but who owns this building. I do uh, work for him in the summer months. Um, he didn't realize that I did uh, commercial snow plowing. He assumed I was a landscaping company that all I did was residential. I said, well, no, it's actually the opposite. I don't do residential. There's no money in it. The only one I do... Oh, my goodness, get in there. The only residential place I do... Holy crap. Is... Uh, that big residential one that I do. It's actually a friend of mine that owns that. He's a commercial contractor. And he gives me a lot of work. I do at least, I don't know. I've been good friends with him for, I think about five, six, six years now. And in those six years, he's given me projects. He built the church. I did all the interlock and brick at the church. Uh, he built a dealership. And I built a large, large retaining wall there for him. Not high, but really long. It was, uh, it was eight feet tall. Uh, I think 350 linear feet. It was a good size wall. Nothing to scream about, but yeah. Um, holy Jesus. I do work for him at his house. Uh, mostly just repair stuff. Uh, he built a meat plant. And I did uh, a whole bunch of hardscaping there on that one for him. the idea we, we do uh, we do jobs through him but yeah I won't touch residential because at the cost of insurance for plowing these days it is just it's it's not worth it there's no money in it when you're dishing out fifteen thousand dollars a year just for liability never mind equipment guys just for liability it uh, driveway for uh, you know 25 or 50 bucks even it's just it's not worth it
watches my videos, snow plowing, uh, Mr. 802. You guys should go check him out there. Uh, he made a few videos, I think about a year ago, 11 months ago, something like that. And he started commenting on mine, so I said, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna check him out and see if he's got a channel. Well, he did. He had two videos. I watched them and I commented to him to start her up again and get her going. Well, guess what, guys? He did. He just put out a couple videos recently and they're pretty good. I watched them. You guys should check him out. Again, it's uh, Mr. Edo too. Go check him out. Nice guy. And I think you may see him pushing some snow in a loader uh, next year. Because by the sounds of it, he's completely in love with my loader. I'll never go back to a truck, let me tell you. But I'll also, you know, never ever get away from the hydraulic wing plows. I mean, those, uh, those make all the difference in the world. And believe it or not, you guys see the plow on my pickup. It's a Boss EXT. And I have a Boss, uh, I wanna say DXT, it's a V plow. And those plows, believe it or not, just one of them was more expensive than the wing plow uh, on my loader. At EXT here in Canada, because it's made in the States, it costs, I think around 14,000 Canadian, but that would be the complete, the complete setup, uh, the harness, uh, the installation, the mount, truck mount, and of course the plow. That would be the the complete setup. Um, I just ended up buying just the plow because I already had the harness. Uh, I had everything except the plow and the controller. Anyways, the point being, if you're ever going to get a loader or something like that, make sure you get a hydraulic wing plow. Um, there's three companies that make really good wing plows. Uh, my top choice is obviously the, the plow that I have because that's the one I chose. Um, that's made manufactured by AMI Attachments. And then it's it's twin brother uh, Horst HLA. They, they make a good plow. I've ran lots of those over the years on uh, various sizes of loaders. Um, and then Metal Plus. Uh, Metal Plus makes a pretty decent plow. I just think their wind their wings are they're they're too weak. Their wings are too weak. And their plows are way too heavy. Like way too heavy. Just ridiculous. Ridiculously heavy.
side that is really the cost of the parts for the undercarriage track system for the 287 because they're two different track systems. The 289 is more rugged. It's uh, definitely stronger, but the multi-terrain has a much more comfortable ride. All the rollers are, uh, I think they're like spring-loaded or something, so they independently go over a bump. It's, it's a really smooth ride, and then obviously the track system, uh, the tracks are multi-terrain, so you only have to worry about the one, the one set of tracks. Uh, you wouldn't have to buy a, a second set. Boy, she's cooling down here. Depending on what the cost is to uh, to re replace parts on that 287, I'm getting one or the other. I still, I don't know, still haven't figured that out yet. The one thing I can tell you though, I'm sure you guys will know, the ones who watch my channel all the time anyway, it will be a cat. I can guarantee you that much. It will be a cat. I'm leaning towards the uh, 287, but if it's ridiculously overpriced compared to the uh, 289 for the track rebuild, uh, I'll, I'll get the other one. But I, I got a feeling it's not going to be that bad. So. Subscribe. Catch you in the next one, guys.